let's look at the blood vessels first. This artery right here would represent an arcuate artery and then an interlobular artery branching off of that. These interlobular arteries, remember, are also known as cortical radiate arteries. Now branching off the interlobular artery is an afferent arteriole bringing blood into the glomerulus, which is a ball of capillaries inside the glomerular capsule. This blood vessel right here is an efferent arteriole and this would lead to peritubular capillaries. Here we can see some peritubular capillaries over here. So this purple thing right here, this is Bowman's capsule or the glomerular capsule and what it's going to do is catch the filtrate that comes from the glomerulus. What's going to happen is this efferent arteriole is going to be smaller than the afferent arteriole which is going to cause blood to back up inside this glomerulus. Now that higher pressure in here is going to force the fluid portion of the blood out of the capillaries and into this glomerular capsule. Okay, so filtration happens here. Now that filtrate is going to pass through the proximal convoluted tubule, which we could see right here. Proximal because it's closest to the glomerular capsule. Convoluted means coiled. Then the filtrate will pass down through the loop of Henle. Okay, so we're going to have a thin descending limb over here. Here's the loop of Henle or the nephron loop. And then we're going to have a thick ascending limb over here. This thick ascending limb would continue to the distal convoluted tubule. All right. Distal convoluted tubule will dump its filtrate into the collecting duct, which is this yellow structure right here. And you can see where there would be many distal convoluted tubules attached to the collecting duct. Now by the time the filtrate gets to the collecting duct, it's considered urine. The nephron consists of the renal corpuscle and the renal tubules. The renal corpuscle consists of the glomerulus or glomerular capillaries and the glomerular capsule or Bowman's capsule. The renal tubules consist of the proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle and distal convoluted tubule. The collecting duct is not part of the nephron. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.